2016, on and around the 17th of June, Fajim Day took place for the first time. All across Europe, Fajim members, their families and colleagues joined together to celebrate Fajim's values. What is Fajim Day? At the 25th Anniversary Congress in Athens in 2015, the idea was first presented. But where did it come from? It was born in 2014 during the first Fajim Advanced Management Programme in Lisbon, where Fajim Future participants were asked to think of the best ways of leveraging their own businesses using the Fajim brand. What did Fajim members have to do? It was quite simple. First of all, head office sent out Fajim flags to all the national organizations. Then, the creativity of independence took over. Some people even used the flag. Staying with the example of Italy, our colleagues held an open day for installers in cooperation with their partner suppliers. After the official opening by the mayor, there was a lot to see and nice things to eat. In Romania, the Fajim team also met up with their partner suppliers for a big event. And it was a similar picture in Spain. And in Latvia, there was a lot of great food, Fajim style. Ooh, thank you. Mmm, it's lovely and still fresh. Our Greek friends took a different angle. Helping others had always been on the agenda for Fajim Day. So Fajim Hellas created two teams of helpers. One joined up with the Make-A-Wish Foundation to make a sick four-year-old's dreams come true by transforming his room into a Disney heaven. The other team helped bring a little more comfort into the daily lives of refugees. Of course, some of the guys had to stay in the company and do the work. But at least they look great. Meanwhile, back in Ireland, our colleagues had been thinking, what could be nicer than a family trip to the zoo? And the answer was, just add face painting and cake. Thank you. Mm. Our teams worked very hard on Fajim Day. In Finland, a member company went on a family trip to a fitness centre to learn all about exercise and diet needed to stay healthy. Our Russian colleagues followed a day of workshops for employees with an exciting volleyball tournament. was very well supported. In Poland, members were very active. There was a cycling trip, a volleyball event like in Russia, and, you should see the outtakes of that, a big football competition between members as it was the time of the FIFA European Championship in France. Oh, what's this? Ah, a late result. Poland won, yeah! Just in case you're beginning to get a guilty conscience because of our fit and healthy Polish colleagues, they had cake too. Thank you! But it wasn't all play. In Hungary, 
members created a Fajime Day catalogue of special offers from participating partner suppliers. In Germany, there were nine workshops to promote Fajime Group services. These were attended by 135 participants from 42 member companies. And they had cake. Thank you. What's happening? Why has the film stopped? Is it broken? No, it's the Mannequin Challenge. Our Portuguese colleagues not only repeated their success with their Blue Friday special offer day, but they also entered the Mannequin Challenge. And still managed to serve customers. Go Portugal! Colleagues in Belgium were also very creative. To promote the Fajim brand colour, they performed their own version of the Blue Man Group. And now for the highlight of our film. What do you always think of when you hear the name Fajim? Yes, the Himalayas, of course. Well, now you will. Members of Fajim Polska went on an epic motorcycle trip to Kashmir and conquered one of the highest vehicle accessible passes in the world. What an achievement for Fajim Day. This year, Fajim Day will be on the 30th of June. I think I'll be going to the Finnish Fitness Centre after all that cake. My advice to Fajim, get together, be creative and enjoy. <laughs>